Okay, so we are back with our discussion on auxiliary equation with repeated roots. Now we will be trying to solve a higher order differential equation which involves this type of um, uh, types of auxiliary equation. So we have uh, managed to get the general solution on our last video. So this is the general solution for um, auxiliary equation with repeated roots. So as you can see, the coefficient of x is uh, the uh, degree of x here is um, this is the degree of x is ascending up to n minus 1 and our number of arbitrary constant is equal to n so now we have this equation so we have the fourth uh, the, the fourth derivative of y in terms of x minus the minus 7 times the third degree derivative uh, third order derivative of uh, y in terms of x plus 18 second degree derivative a uh, second order derivative of y in terms of x minus 20 dy dx plus 8 y is equal to 0 so if you are going to uh, notice if you have noticed our given problem is already on the so already on the d operator um, form so we could go directly now to our auxiliary equation so our our m is equals to d y okay m so our m is equal to d y so we will have m to the fourth minus 7 m cube plus 18 m squared minus 20 m plus 8 is equal to 0 then you will solve for the roots of course you cannot solve this directly using the calculator as accepted in the board exam so because it is all only up to the third uh, degree so we need to find another method to reduce our um, degree here so the first thing to do is to get the first root if we are going to get a single root then that then the remaining equation will now be a third degree equation so what we are going to do is to use synthetic division we choose a uh, any number for our um, expected root so the the most convenient way is to select a a uh, a low number or a small number for this instance we will solve uh, we will use one we just copy the coefficients here one negative seven 18 negative 20 and 8 so bring down 1 this is 1 times 1 1 here this will be negative 6 1 times negative 6 so this will be negative 6 18 plus negative 6 that will be 12 1 times 12 that will be 12 we put the 12 here negative 20 plus 12 that will be negative 8 then 1 times negative 8 that will be negative 8 it will be equal to 0 so if the the last um, answer or the last column will be equal to zero when you are using synthetic division so there is no remainder therefore your chosen expected root is the is one of the roots of the equation so we could say that our m sub one so that the first root is equal to one then we will end up with this equation so this is now on the third degree so we have m cubed minus 6 m squared plus 12 m, m minus 8 is equal to 0 so of course you can also this one get the roots of this one using the calculator so we just have our calculator here okay so just wait for our calculator to open of course you could also use for this one or you could continue using this one as a synthetic division okay so again you will need to select a small number for this one so maybe we could have two or maybe three or maybe or maybe um, four so if if for in for instance 
if you use one up to five, the answer or the 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 expected roots are not the one. Then you you could have also the uh, negative numbers. Okay, you could use the negative numbers. So that that will be trial and error. Okay, so I guess we have our our calculator is uh, have already been loaded. Okay, let's just have the. Okay, so we have now our calculator. So we have. We go to equation that will be 5, 4. So we have 1, negative 6, 12. Then I believe this will be 8. Let's just check first. Okay, maybe I have not checked the. Okay, so okay, so we have written the correct expression for the oops and we could repeat the process okay so it could be four so we have one negative six twelve and negative eight okay so we have our root is equals to is equal to two okay so i guess it is a repeated root because the one that is shown by the calculator is only two so meaning the the remaining three roots of our equation is 2. Okay, so we could say now that okay. so we could now say that our roots here, okay, so our m2 is equal to m3 is equal to m4, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, we have three roots but for the last three it is equal to two so we have a repeated root so three three of the roots of this uh, of this auxiliary equation repeats which is equal to two so this is m4 so the fourth degree so we have four roots three are repeated so now we will use or we'll get now the uh, the general solution okay so maybe we could copy the roots that we will have the guide on the next slide. Okay, so here. Okay. So we could now have our Y. For the first one, we will consider the first one as distinct. So if you have watched the previous video about the uh, auxiliary equation with distinct roots, so we just put here C1, E, then the X, the use the root as the coefficient of the exponent so that will be x then we now have the repeated roots here okay so first we have c2 then we will we'll not put the x we just have e then the, the roots to x plus c3 now we'll begin to repeat so that will be x e to the 2x plus C four e to the ah uh, no uh, okay C four x squared e to the two x so this is the general solution for our differential equation this differential equation mm. or you can also simplify this one if you want so that you will have a um the much simpler expression so we have e to the 2x you have c1 uh, c2 plus c3x plus c4x squared okay. so that is the uh, simplified answer okay so i hope you understand something in this example and thank you for watching as always enjoy learning